What up everybody, Nero the Hero here, and I just wanted to as briefly as possible show you guys how to transcribe a video or audio source using Google Drive and Voice Meter. So you're going to need three things, I've already mentioned two of them. You're going to want Google Drive so you can create a Google Doc. You're going to want Voice Meter or Voice Meter Banana. And if you don't already have this, you can go on over to vb-audio.com, give that an install and a restart and you'll be good to go. And then you're going to need your source in question. Now, I'm not going to go over how to actually set up voice meter because I've already gone over it in this video, which is actually why I'm actually using it as the example because I just wanted to refer to everybody to it and that's the exact title. There it is right there. So, all right, so Google Drive. So what you're going to want to do is open up a doc. You want to go up to tools, go to voice typing, and then this thing will pop up. And then you also want to make sure that your recording device, your default recording device is going to be voice meter output, which will be represented by B1. And voice meter auxiliary will be represented by B2. So if you ever get confused about that, auxiliary means second or additional, so auxiliary B2. So once I click this little icon here and start talking, it will automatically start transcribing my voice to the text. Hence, voice to text. Bow chicka bow wow. I'm just being silly here. So then what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your system audio, which normally comes through here, voice meter V-A-I-O, you wanna make sure that that is set for B1. You also wanna make sure that your microphone is checked off of B1, just in case you say something into your microphone while you're playing the audio, because it will pick up anything that comes through. So basically what this does is it tricks Google Drive into treating your system audio as a microphone input. So what you're going to want to do is before you get everything started, um, oh, also just before, just as an example, if you're transcribing something and you click off of a window, it'll stop. So it'll automatically stop your transcription. So you want to make sure you have everything set up before you hit this. So that means running your audio or your video at the same time so click that off of that and then I'm gonna start playing this and then activate the voice text and it should work let's make sure we're on a new paragraph yes we are what up everybody Nero the hero here and I just wanted to briefly well as quickly as possible just kind of go over the basic setup for voice meter banana and there you have it as you can see it transcribed it fairly accurately it's not perfect it said near instead of near the hero so for that reason you just want to make sure that your source is as very clear as possible and if it's going to be something that you are planning on recording then you just want to make sure that you speak clearly and just clearly enough to where it'll pretty much get the gist of what you're saying now i also just wanted to let you guys know that uh, voice to text does not automatically do new paragraphs or punctuation. So if I'm transcribing something like this, I, if I want to start a new, oh, got my fail safe there. So if I'm if I'm transcribing a new, if I'm transcribing something and I want to start a new paragraph, I'll say new paragraph just like I did, and it will start a new paragraph. Or if I want punctuation, I can say comma. And if I want to end a sentence, I just say period. So there you have it. Hopefully this was useful to you guys and hopefully this will be something that you could utilize if you're like me and you write scripts and then just totally go off script. You can basically kind of write your script after you've already recorded your video. So it's kind of like, it's not really putting the cart before the horse. It's just if that's kind of how you work because that's kind of how I work. I'll write a script and then I'll just completely go off script. Next thing I know, my script does not match my video and I like to use my scripts and stuff as far as SEO for search engine optimization. I like to use them in my blogs and whatnot. So yeah, hopefully this is useful to you guys. If it is, let me know in the comments below or if you know any nifty tricks of your own, um, go ahead and share them in the comments. I'm gonna get out of here now and until we meet again, take care of yourselves and each other, do something heroic today and demand something better in gaming, always. This is Nero the Hero signing out, peace. Hey guys, sorry, just one more quick little tidbit of information. So the voice to text actually does support multiple languages. So if you have your voice text open right here, just click this little drop down menu, 
And as you can see, it supports many, many, many different languages, even different forms of English and Spanish. So there you go. All right, that's it, guys. See ya.